Our study taking the stage, telling us about the Ivy Leaguer attempting to topple the Giants this evening, Frank Gifford. Frank? Thank you, Chris. And with Troy Aikman out, Princetonian Jason Garrett will start for only the third time in his six-year Dallas career. Jason's a survivor, but that's not a surprise if you know his father as I do. In 1956, Jim Garrett was a teammate of mine on the New York Giants when we won the NFL championship. Later, a coach and a scout, Jim's three sons would follow him into the game, including one who has waited his turn and is now trying to keep Dallas alive. Jason spent much of last week studying tape of the New York Giants defense. His dad has been a Dallas Cowboys scout for the last 10 years. And in 1988, he was asked to evaluate the Ivy League Player of the Year, Princeton quarterback Jason Garrett. Well, when I was assigned to scout him, they gave me Princeton and he was a prospect. Exactly what I saw is what I put down. My grade was that he could be a backup quarterback for a contending team. Jason, however, went undrafted. He spent two years away from the NFL in the World League and in Canada before finally sticking with the Cowboys. Great experiences for me, both as a football player and as a human being, to live in a different country, to play in another league, and to, and to really try to, try to battle through some of those experiences and, and continue to pursue my dream. It was very important for me. I look back on those situations very fondly. He took something that a lot of people said he couldn't do, and he's been at it for 10 years and has respect of his peers in the Dallas Cowboys. Well, you try to put yourself in that situation mentally every week when you're a backup quarterback. Something's gonna happen to the starter, you gotta go in there and play. And, and Troy got tackled right by our sidelines and I looked at him and said, you all right? He sort of shook his head and said no. So I knew I was ready to go and uh, you just gotta get yourself warmed up and go out there and play. He's gotta be ecstatic because I think it'll be a throw for him to be introduced as a starting quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys come out there with 79,000 very knowledgeable New York fans yelling things at him and everything. He knows his job. He's like a 747 pilot. He's checked everything out. Everything's ready to go. Well, I think it's important to keep it in perspective. I mean, I think the, the way I've been successful in the past as an athlete, you sort of stay in the short term and you worry about your practice week, you worry about your preparation, and then come game time, you just go out there and play. I think he really would like to prove to people that he can play as a regular in the National Football League. But I'll tell you something I've never told him. I really believe he's a fierce, fierce, from the pit of his stomach, competitor. He has a conviction to really show people he can play. Jason has the confidence of not only his dad, but his teammates. They can always remember that Thanksgiving Day victory in 1994 when Jason, filling in for Aikman, started and beat the Packers 42-31. Tonight, Chris, another great...